I'm Sir Tapped Up, and welcome to Let's Play Hero and Daughter Plus. I promise it's not quite what it looks like. I still don't think. I was recommended to play this by uh, VG Smart. I got there was uh, the uh, I got a review copy of this game from the publisher, and I was recommended it by the PR guy. I initially didn't give it much of a look, but. Uh, I specifically recommended it, and um, I played the first like two minutes, and I was like, "Oh, maybe this, maybe I should see this." <laughs> so I know nothing more than this scene. Obviously, it was Final Fantasy One that does this, doesn't it? Like this exact scene. <laughs> but it seems to have the right attitude. I'm not sure what the sexy anime women. Oh, correct. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Birth of a hero. I thought it said birth of a failure at first, which would have been even more funny. Um, I guess we're level one now. That's what high quality grape juice does to you. He has the voice of a dragon, apparently. I'm a guard appears. I'm a guard. I have 50,000 HP at level one. Oh wait, no, the guard has 50,000 HP. Seems unfair. Slightly. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good buff. Billion damage. <sighs> well then. No. <laughs> Are these d default RPG like that? I think those must be default RPG maker noises, like probably on purpose. Oops. I'll try to leave the text up a little bit longer. I don't really want to read all of the text, but I know some people have trouble reading when I skip too fast. Well, skipping too fast by definition would give you some greedy issues. Slime farming time. Oh boy, that is some jer that is definitely some RPG Maker textures going on there. That's it. I'm pretty sure that is, you know, deliberate. Like, actually, let me... Hold on. Allow okay, Google does not find this. Hold on. Ahem. <clears throat> About this game, this is the classic story of good old Ralph, the legendary hero from RPG Maker fought, um, what is that, 15, Ace, VX, what, that's not, that must not be Roman numerals, I don't know that much, whatever, on his quest to defeat the diabolical demon lord, yes, we know this, this looks a little loud, I'm not sure if this last bit is true, but it says the first Japanese RPG Maker game to be fully translated and made available on Steam for an English audience. Hero and Daughter Plus received the top prize at the Niki Niki Indie Game Festival. Is this really the first Japanese RPG Maker game on? That seems hard to believe, but I don't know. I know that there's a lot of, oh god, you're dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. Wait, that's not gonna help. Okay, I dodged some stuff. Maybe that will help. There is a line here about... Here in Daughter Plus is a game about serious dungeon crawling, fun-loving comedy we died. 
And beautiful, powerful girls. I guess we were supposed to lose that. <laughs> well, we're doomed. Doomed so hard we've returned to a save point that we never actually went to in the first place. Shut up, old man. Is that really what summoners do? Whatever. <laughs> this doesn't... No, it doesn't support controllers. <laughs> You're weak as hell. Um, what? Okay, so our party members are way stronger than us, I guess. I guess that does explain the menu screen. First summon. Stare. I hope this doesn't turn <laughs> hair on me. You know, I, uh, I'm not sure I want to get into this diatribe, but... Uh, eh. No. No. <laughs> His name changed. I guess as long as it has a sense of humor to it. Harem is definitely not my um, preferred genre. The, uh, I don't want to rant too much about it, but my main problem with harem stuff is that generally you've got... <laughs> like how the art style doesn't match the actual in-game graphics in any way, say, shape, or form. Okay. Um, oh, we have no control over that? Okay. Robota. She's a robot! Excellent. Hi, robot. Sorry, I think I'm probably going through text too quickly again. I'm not sure how much of this will show, but uh, sense of humor seemed decent enough. Uh, that's not very. Uh, can I can I get a different one? Ah, man! Don't this weirdo robot couldn't get me some freaking cos cosmos cosmos? I, I I've never been sure. Exactly how you pronounce that. I think it's supposed to. Oh, you can talk to them and stuff. I'm surprised RPG Maker doesn't support, you know, controllers. I would think that would be a pretty big deal. I mean. What? Oh, cool. Random return event. Oh! Like when you come back, random events happen. That's alright. Defense on this fight. Alright. I guess we'll just leave everything on. Oh. We broke it. Oh. Okay. We're just gonna leave everything on for now. Probably just makes the game work faster. This reminds me of an area in um, Final Fantasy IX and that, you know, the grotto thingy. Oh wait, let's check our stats. How do I do that? Okay. So she's level 5. Your stats kind of suck for somebody that's supposed to be like way better than me, but whatever. See, that's... that's more like it, even though you're really gross. Whatever. How do I save? Not that way. Ah, okay. Oh. 
Okay. Let's go fight some slimes again. Okay. Village, blah, blah, blah. We just walk in the water. That's that's fine. Hello, ma'am. What? Okay. Magic shop, dude. You don't see magic shops very often anymore. Like, in those old Final Fantasy games, you used to have to buy your magic. It's a little weird. On, at least by modern stuff, I mean. Not usually how things work. What can I buy here? Fire tome. Was it a tome or a grimoire? Make up your mind. I guess that's fine. We have village levels, okay. So I guess we can level up our village too. I think that effect is our us gaining one HP by talking to people. Oh, this is a guild for quests and crap. Also, the sh complete ripoff prices. Excellent. Uh, that's fine. We don't. We don't need to do that. Like seriously, why doesn't? Um. I guess we just gotta beat monsters. Okay. Simple enough. What's up, buddy? How dare you just put a sign in front of your door? You didn't even close the door. I bet you don't even have a door, do you? You just have a sign. Whatever. Oh wait, we didn't go into the item shop. Ye old item shoppy. Oops, I'm supposed to... I can't not read this as hair mancer, like... That's probably a more useful skill, too. You could just, like, summon a bunch of bunnies to beat up your enemies. That would be pretty great, honestly. I am the Hair Mancer. No one who hops as meekly as you can defeat me. That seems useful. You know what? I have money. Sure. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's just this place. I want my level- I want my village level to go up. I, love, I just love that you can just walk through the water. Like, whatever. That's fine. A bath? A bath lake smell? Okay. Hello, ma'am. Sir, whatever you are. It's hard to tell. No, you're a- you're a ma'am. I think. You got that side tail going on. Hi, walk master. That's... Ah! Okay. Got some weird systems going on in this game. We get a ring! <laughs> Epiphany. What do you got here? It's gifts for affection crap. You know, I... Um... The affection mechanics are generally done really badly. And I... Like, especially when it's just fight, you know, have two people on the battlefield at the same time, and you have to grind at, like, more battles than you would reasonably even fight over the course of the entire game to reach the max level. It's just stupid. Um... I'll buy one, but only because I want to level up my town. Call the fields crops. I guess we have crops. Definitely interesting, weird little thing. I'll probably just finish exploring the town, 
and get into some random fights. And then call it a day, honestly. But, uh... Seems to have a decent enough sense of humor. This town bit's a little bit... Boring. Um... It's officially a Tales of game now. Wait, is that permanent? Oh, no it's not. It's just for a one-time thing. Yeah, so it is a Tales game. What's going on, old man? So we talked to everybody. What's this tent? Hello, shady guy. It's it's red. What's going on, red? Sell me some forged paintings. The dark lord. It's always a dark lord. Never a light lord. I see. Huh. It's a neat little cheat system. Hmm. I do like systems that let you, you know, affect the amount of random encounters and crap. So we done. Wow. Oh, there's more? Okay. What's going on here? systems in this game than I was expecting. What? It's free real estate. I guess that wasn't a loud enough stage whisper. Did, did the house just talk to me? <laughs> From default RPG Maker Resources. Not very gracious. Default RPG Maker House. What? Oh. So it's Animal Crossing, too. It's Tales of Animal Crossing. Oh, crap. What did I press? There we go. It's X. Why can't RPG Maker just support controllers? What is this? Oh, uh, we can buy different homes. What are these? No! No! What? No! Rest in peace, all of my money. <laughs> I would have appreciated a warning for that. Ah, uh, whatever. Wait, let's... Okay. Okie doke. Save first. I have no idea if we die if we just come back here without losing anything like that first time or what. Let's hopefully find some not creepy party members while we're at it. Surprisingly generous first area here. Hey monster. Oh! Monster just chilling here. Can I just. Oh, good. Optimal. No! Ugh. I hate when you can't, like. I guess everybody's good. Let's ignore that guy for now. Oh! It's not a random encounter system. Hi, Orc. Or Oc, Oc, actually. I'd rather not. Oh, whatever. You guys are facing the wrong way. I just noticed that. I mean, th th they're over there. I don't know what you're looking at here. Maybe... <laughs> one damage! Okay, they are significantly better than me after all, despite my HP. 
Hey, what the fuck? I don't think I was supposed to fight this thing. How do I, how do I run? What, no! Why is this guy here? No, don't auto battle. I've heard that exact sound in, um, um, Whoop and Shop to Omase, which, uh, I wish is a better game than it was. It's got a great sense of humor, but it's just, it's too much RNG and the rhythm game. Like, th it's so weird because there's some stuff that, um, in Whoop and Shop to Omase, like, there's some points where, like, you, what you do in that game is you tap, um, you tap weapons rhythmically to, like, forge them, like you're a blacksmith, and, um, sometimes you just get penalized for tapping, quote-unquote, the same place on a weapon, but it doesn't mark, like, which places aren't safe to tap, so you just sort of, on certain weapons, you'll just run out of places that are safe to tap, and it just, it's really frustrating. And people just randomly lose your best weapons. It's pretty annoying. It... Ugh. It's an alright game, but it's... Also a lot of wasted potential, in my opinion. It's one of Level 5's weird, simple games for 3DS. No summon stones. Hmm. Well, it's a no game over game, I guess, which is nice. Were we supposed to lose the exact same, or the first battle then, or? We, we might slightly know defeat. Who? Okay. Will will this allow me to beat a single fight? I would like to. Bu oh. Just give me random crap. Okay. Where is Miss Help Me Not Lose Battles, lady? I would like you to join me on my quest because I'm terrible. Hmm. People's positions random. There you are. Help. Okay. Let's not talk to that orc, though. Screw that guy. He's a dick. Um. Oh! Different place, I guess. Why, why are you just here in a dungeon? Pressure lady. What? <laughs> Did you just whisper something? What? Oh, okay. Can we beat a single slime? I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh! Well, that went slightly better. <laughs> Explodes! Okay. Oh no. Nope. I like that those at least warns you. Oh. At least warns. Whatever. Who was that that did that attack? Was that Reddy? Luffy. Yeah, it must have been Luffy. This is apparently like extreme easy mode though. Whatever, I'm fine with that. I just want to take a quick peek. We'll go through this dungeon until we die, and then I'll I'll call it quits. Is this a thing? No. So dungeons are random. I see. I should have got all that treasure on that first area because there was like. Stun guard. The optimal thing doesn't seem to equip. 
like, or does it? Oh no, I just can't. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't equip accessories. Dude, because he seems useless. Treasure! Okay, so the gray one summons stones. No! Whatever. Battles are quick, which is good. One of the best things you can do in an RPG, like any turn based thing, is let me just skip animations or just have them be super fast, but s even still, let me skip them. Rosham boy. I don't actually have the money for him. <laughs> From default RPG maker. I love their unashamed default RPG maker. References. <laughs> Explosions. Alright, fuck that orc. You're a dick. What are, you, what are you? I'll regret this. But, oh. Guard because you suck. Um, high schooler punch. Yeah, let's high schooler punch this plant. Oh, Letty is like auto battle. Like, I can't control her. Confusion. Excellent. Waste SP. Let's kill everything else while that's. No! You kill the plant, jerk! Oh no. I hate you. Uh, what do you got? What a helpful robot. Could you please attack the frickin' plant? There you go. Why is that? Why is there the Unicode box? That that usually means that I can't display the character there. Sounds a little weird. It wants our rare cheese. Let's run. <laughs> it explodes if you run too. Okay, screw that. Let's just get to the final level here. All right, one more level. Be real, it's like an hand clothing. Nope. Nope. I do appreciate that you can just nope out of battle. What are you doing here? I can't afford any of your crap. Hey! <laughs> he's just. He's just gone. Okay. Oh, dang. Oh. Staff? Really? If you say so. Um, seal you. You're fine. I'm not sure if Hero is ever actually remotely useful or what, but I'm a little scared to use my buff items on him yet. I guess they're not getting too gross, at least so far, with the harem aspect. It's just, you know, your suspiciously attractive generic female party members situation. I guess that's not too bad for a joke game. We got cheese! Chain bonus. Okay. No! I don't want to fight the plants. <laughs> Completely reasonable explosion that happens when I run from things. Here we go. Let's heal our asses. Right, we'll beat this guy, hopefully. Summon some people. I think that's enough of showing this off. 
Hello, generic boss monster. Okay. Huh. He's like not really animated, but that weird um Well, not even like Pokemon black and white animated, like even less than that, but uh Let's just do your normal thing. I never liked the animated sprites in black and white. They're just so it's just bleh. Especially at the crazy low resolution of the actual game, like, you just see weird, broken pixels constantly, it's just... I like that high schooler punch is like by far my strongest... Oh, and he's dead. Whatever. It's basically useless. It's fine. I guess I should just constantly use that Hero's Resolve thing. I guess that's just just basically to keep him alive. He seems to just have buffs, so I don't think he's I don't think the hero is ever supposed to be useful aside from his buffs. Wait, TP is different from MP? I don't entirely understand all of the systems, but uh, this isn't what I was expecting in a good way. It's it uses default RPG Maker assets, but it's very aware of that. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, can we never level up? Is that the joke? Okay. Yeah, let's have a beer with, you know, giant behemoth, bro. Bro behemoth. Yeah, that exact sound effect. That must be some stock sound effect pack somewhere. Maybe it's just part of RPG Maker. I don't know. I, I don't really play too many RPG Maker games, aside from, like... There's some really good RPG Maker games, though. Like, Lisa and Off by Mortis Ghost. Both of those are actually made by in RPG Maker. They don't look like it at all, aside from the... Um, you can kind of tell with the combat system in um, Off. But, uh... They do some pretty impressive stuff, and I think if you're going to make an RPG Maker game, it, it, it's not always, you know, a super much of an option, but uh, the best thing you can do is make it not look like an RPG Maker game. I mean, mechanically, RPG Maker seems fine, but um, it has this look to it that's increasingly grating. I know there's a bunch of asset pats, packs for it. I'm not sure... I'm sure it's a very useful tool, but, uh... Cyclops lady! Hi, Cyclops. Oh, Rude! You, you don't just... you don't just do that. Uh, I think we noticed. You know the weird thing about most Cyclopses? Like, there's no room for the brain in there when they do that. Like... Like, look at, like, so if her eye was totally open, it would be like this. And, like, imagine that as a sphere. There's, like, her brain would have to be, like, just around the back of her skull. Whatever. Don't, don't think about it too much. Don't be rude to the Cyclops, lady. Don't make eye contact. Portraits are so weird. Uh, summon some more people's. So, I'm not sure if these are random or like a set order. It's a rogue. Yep, oh, she's the dragon. Oh, this is now Fire Emblem. We have dragon lilies. What, what, what is with Fire Emblem? Like, uh, I don't even... Never mind. My, my only opinion on uh, Fire Emblem Fates is that I'm really glad I'm not... 
invested in the Fire Emblem series. Summon one last one. Angel thing. Hi, angel thing. What's going on? <laughs> Wrecked. Oh, rude. this one. <laughs> the portraits are almost fine, but the, the full body models are so weird. Oh, well, how many people can we have in a party? Um, let's just check our stats here. I guess they all start at level 5. What, what What is with your eyes? Look at... Just got... Problems. You would have expected the Cyclops to be like brute force, but apparently not. So, I'm, I'm guessing he's like actually stuck at level 1, because they... Oh, next zero. Yeah, so he's always useless. Okay. So that is, in fact, the joke. TM. What? Sure. What does this do? What? How do I do that? Oh god, it's on the character screen too. Um, what did I get? That was probably a key item. Um, we'll see what this is about. Wait, how do I do the invitation crap? Give experience? Oh, he can't receive experience, so he just gives it to people. That's kind of neat, though, because that uh, you can like instantly level up your, you know, new peoples. Rude. <laughs> why would your Why would your affection increase because of that? Whatever. I just want to see if we can get Letty, even if we have a full party. I doubt it. She's probably the, you know, you don't have a full party. Oh, yep. She even explicitly calls it out. I guess just gradually level him up from, you know, increasing, like, talking to people and, you know, building up your town and shit. Oh, right, the field. That's our field. What's this? Iffy veggies. Huh. Oh. Alright. That's all of them, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Default RPG maker resources. I stick her every time I see that. So yeah, this is Hero and Daughter Plus. It's a little weird, but a little interesting still. Let's see if we get an event leaving or returning. I guess there's no random event. Let's do the quickest peek at... Wait. A little underleveled, but... I don't really want to grind there, so let's just take a quick peek in this place. I'm not sure if... Alright, hang on. Let me read this Steam description hit quick here. Summon over 30 powerful, talented, and magical girls to do all your fighting for you. Oh! There's a thing. I was paying attention to the game. Um, use stat boost to help Ralph survive his journey. And more than 10 hours of storyline play, so... It sounds like there really are just these three dungeons and the, you know, final dungeon, I guess. Which makes sense, I guess. So it's like a short game. Uh, how much is this? A... Um, this is the sort of thing I should look up, SD. And, you know, whatever. Blood of Duty, Euro monies, etc. So let's just take a quick peek on this first floor of this map. 
I guess as long as... I, I don't really mind short RPGs as long as, you know... It, it's better something like this doesn't wear out its welcome, in my opinion. I mean... The jokes aren't too bad, but I'm sure they would, you know, wear themselves thin if this were tried to be, you know, a billion hours long. No, I don't want to fight you. Go away. No! I said no. No means no! Oh, it's just a slime. That was way more intimidating looking than a slime. With 5 HP? Oh, it's a metal slime. Okay. I like the hero XP system where you can. He doesn't level up, but you can just give it to other people. That's pretty neat. Ah, you want my money, don't you? Ah. Uh, you can have two G. I thought you'd get mad at me. We got a statue. So randomy dungeons, got it. So yeah, this is a hero and daughter plus. That seems interesting. Oh, wait, I want to see what this dude does. Excuse me, dude. What do you do? Or ma'am, possibly. Rude. Why does everyone know this? No. <laughs> no. Screw you. I'm not sure I'll even play this game more, but still, it's mine. You can't have it. Wait, can we even use these on the girls? Are these are these only for Duder? Um. Oh. So you can use them for other people, but they're most effective on our hero, I guess, because he's you know, stuck. What was that? Whatever. Actually, it's only been one hour, so I'm, I'm not sure if there are, there may be more dungeons, I guess. I don't know. Maybe something happens after you beat the hero cat or the Dark Lord's castle. I don't know. But yeah, that's, you know, I don't intend to show too much of RPGs, so that's enough for now.